hey, there'll be some graphic images in this one. It is a violent Jalo number. They might not look entirely real, although they somewhat strive to do so. The uh, graphic murders, that is. One of Ruggiero Diodato's better projects is 1988's Phantom of Death, which functions as quite a good Jalo if you believe in the existence of those. Expressively a giallo, reminding a viewer of one with its vivid cinematography, cop vs serial killer gravity, elaborate lavish murders, and highly confusing, nonsensical plots. This film stars Michael York and Donald Pleasance, at a career high, obviously. It certainly felt like one for director Diodato, who was excited to work with these actors, so he claims in an interview I read. Visually, it is one of Diodato's very strongest efforts. Sadly, it is not available in high definition. Restoration would be stellar. I remember not that long ago, my friend Saul and I were discussing and listening to Mort Garson. He, he, Mort Garson released an album in 1978 titled Black Mass under the moniker Lucifer. Yes, it is cool. Anyway, I mentioned that Garson scored a film I viewed recently, 1984's To Kill a Stranger. Upon mentioning that To Kill a Stranger, when describing it briefly, featured a performance from Donald Pleasance, I was interrupted. Wait. Is Donald Pleasance in every other movie made around that time? The room we were in has a poster of 1987's Ground Zero on one of the doors, and so Donald Pleasance and Colin Frills and Jack Thompson are watching us at all times. You have to understand where we're coming from. You, you might not know what Ground Zero is. It's this poster. I'll definitely talk about this Australian classic, legitimately a quality film. Do trust me, at a later date. To answer Saul's query after viewing Phantom of Death, I can safely say that, yes, Donald Pleasance is in every other movie from around this time. And I'm glad I really like Donald Pleasance. My favourite aspect of Phantom of Death is a bizarre, possibly dream sequence moment. It features the creepiest shot in cinema history, or some of them, but do not require any specific context for an immediate affect. Note the screen cap is featuring a little person in a swing set and a pink ball, and you'll understand why. I apologise in advance for the nightmares you receive. Believe me, I'll get them also, rest assured. Or not, rather. Damn. Michael York is a celebrated pianist. Donald Pleasance is trying to track down a serial murderer. Michael York does not realise initially that he is the murderer. He himself is, <coughs> excuse me, is the murderer. But when he... <coughs> But when he does, he gradually begins to embrace his transformation into a homicidal beast. I think he was experiencing some conditions. They did explain this, but I didn't really care to remember what they said. Why would I, honestly? Still, for a director who claims that horror is not his thing, for his horror films are based in realism, not genre trends, so he claims in some text interview, I don't know what he intended, but he mustn't have seen his finished films. Lots of realism in Raiders of Atlantis, Fratello. Still, as I was watching Phantom of Death, I was somewhat loving it. I have a huge soft spot for Jalo, and this one really was doing it for me in the moment. Dear Dado and cinematographer Giorgio De Battista did a mostly great job on this film's visuals. I was very excited to take some of these screenshots. I was very happy to have viewed Phantom of Death, and for better or for worse, it is exactly what you might inevitably expect, and one will either love it or pass it for that very reason.